this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns. Coming to another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. Appreciate y'all coming to the video. Appreciate all the support, people. Appreciate all the comments. Appreciate everything that y'all leave. Appreciate y'all for doing everything that y'all supposed to do and everything to help out the two community. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm to my, I know we have a lot of situations going on out there, but we must stay focused and stuff. We must get out and vote. I'm going to keep pretty much pushing that out. That is the goal. We're going to have to push out the vote and everything. Come out of support of the Second Amendment people. And like I said before, the president, your politician, the superstars, social media stars, all these people, I'm to my professionals in, in all aspects, all these people cannot save the second amendment it's going to take us the citizen if they could we wouldn't be talking about it right now it would be already done so with that said it's going to take us the citizen people to get out now right now we're going to continue to talk about ammo and everything because like i said before there's a lot of information when it comes to ammo most people cover the 90 percent, but they don't cover the other 10 percent when it comes to ammo and everything now we're dealing with a ammo shortage in this country everybody know everybody knows the frustration there are so many people coming into this, you know, just starting to figure out what's going on when it comes to ammo in this country and stuff like that. Now, a lot of your gun shops and stuff at some point in time are going to start hurting because they don't have the firearms and they don't have the ammunition to sell to the customers. A lot of ammunition um, that your gun shops and retailers are buying, they're paying more money for it. That's the reason why you're going to see the cost in the store going up. And I know a lot of people say, well, you know, in my area, the ammo price is not going up. That's probably in your area, but a lot of places you have the lot of uh, small mom and pops to me who have ran out quicker than your big box, your big box stores that sell ammunition. Because see, a lot of people don't understand this. I know we had a lot of new people in the two-way community, but this is something that need to be talked about. A lot of people cover a lot of good topics on the ammo, but it's more to it. And you know, this is what I'm gonna try to do to dig deep and dig out a lot of these things, bring these things to the light. Now. When it comes to your mom and pops, they don't have the resources. They have, you know, you have the big wide internet and everything that everybody's looking. So think about it, people. You have me and you, we can get on the internet, we can find all these places to order ammunition and stuff, get it sent through the mail and all this kind of stuff. But your, your, your local mom and pops, I'm talking about they're having to compete against the people who can go on the internet and find ammo cheaper, and then they got to compete against the big box stores. And a lot of your mom and pops, they find the warehouses, manufacturers and stuff, and a lot of them get their ammunition locally. I know um, a lot of gun shops in my area who we have um, um, an ammunition company right here in the state and everything that is not far from a lot of these people. You know, they're under strain because, you know, they have to get all the materials and stuff to keep making the ammunition, the components and all this kind of stuff. And we're going to get deeper into that because that's another side that a lot of people don't know about. But your mom and pops competing against a lot of people too. So they're being squeezed out quicker than your big box retailers and stuff like that because they're bigger and they got more deals and stuff. They got more contact and everything. So that's something you have to think about when you go into your academies, your Cabela's, or to my, a lot of the big um, mega um, stores and stuff selling farms and ammunition. They have more resource, more, you know, they can get, you know, more of a better deal than your mom and pops and everything. That's the reason why in my area, maybe not in your area, that's the reason why the mom and pops pretty much ran out of ammunition quicker or jacked their prices up a little bit faster than your big box retailers. A lot of your big box retailer prices went up a little bit. Some of them still same, staying the same and everything, but there's an effect to all this kind of stuff. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't cover is that in this country, people, our regulations in, the, in this country that you're in has been has been tough. I'm to my, it's not easy. I'm to my, we've been having a lot of regulation and stuff that's being pushed and pushed by different administrations and stuff like that. Different president, a lot of your politicians coming after, you know, all these, you know, things that we need every day to consume in this country. And one of the things that has been affected is raw materials, people, raw materials. Raw material is the heart and soul to make your um, bullets and stuff, people, for your for your gun. Uh, to my, you know, this right here, uh, to my, to make the boxes of um, make the ammo and stuff like that, to put in these boxes to sell to me and you. Uh, to my, a lot of regulation has made it difficult and stuff like that. They made it difficult for me and you to to get this ammo, and we need this ammo and stuff because it's very important to the two way community. We need this ammo for a lot of reasons. We need it. We need it for to hunt. We need it for to train, practice, 
um, competition shooters and stuff out there. There's alternatives now to ammunition. People using rubber, rubber ammunition and stuff like that. You have innovation that's trying to create polymer um, um, ammunition and stuff like that. I covered that. Got a lot of videos on that. Check that out. Um, to my, you even have places right now seen in the, in the news where you have in certain areas that wants to ban lead, people. Want to ban lead for the wildlife and stuff like that. That's even more regulation a lot of people don't look at. They don't want no lead and stuff like that in certain areas and stuff because it can affect the wildlife. So that is a huge thing that's going on that's not being covered. A lot of people not talking about that. And I will be talking about that. I got a lot of stuff down the pipe, a lot of stuff down the pipe, people. A lot of stuff. And so that has been, that's an effect. So your politicians and stuff like that, they seize on that type of stuff. And another thing that we need to understand, because all the regulation in this country, that's why when you vote, people, when you go out and vote, you got to look at these type of laws and stuff out there because it affect you in the long run. A lot of people have short term mindset when it comes to a lot of stuff or they just don't care, period. We have to care, people. In the 2A community, we have to care about a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff that we don't care about, that we don't focus about affect us when it comes to this ammo and stuff. That's why I say ammo is deep. It's a million ways to cut it, people, million ways to cut it. A lot of people cover that 90 percent, but it's the other 10 percent that don't that, that don't come out to the surface. And I know we got a lot of new people coming in and stuff. And, you know, they're still pretty much taking in a whole lot of information and stuff. But your vote counts when it comes to ammo. It counts. And that's another thing. The reason why you need to get out of vote, pay attention to your local laws and ordinance and stuff like that. Because when it comes to certain places, they want to ban certain things that you can use. You have rangers banning certain ammo and stuff like that. That is going on. But the fact of the matter is the regulation in this country has pretty much put a strain on raw materials and how we make it and stuff. And I said this a while back that China has been buying up raw material here in our own country. We're pretty much being put at a disadvantage, people. We're put at a disadvantage. And we only have certain states that are pretty much creating raw materials and stuff for pretty much the whole country. And with this virus and this COVID-19 situation, they got shut down. And that slowed down manufacturers. You have manufacturers that are still dealing with this virus and stuff and still have to deal with the regulation and stuff, keeping people safe in the manufacturers to keep them working and safe and everything and still try to you know pump out all this am ammunition and stuff because of the demand right now. Everybody is looking for it. So you we're still dealing with that. But the fact of the matter is you have other countries who are ahead of us when it comes to raw material. And we're pretty much, we need the, we need the country. We need to get more dependent on our country people when it comes to raw materials. And you know, like I said before, up to my, you take out all your politicians, all your regulation and laws when it comes to ammo and stuff. Guess what? Ammo cost is still gonna go up. And we're not even going to add ammo tax and all that stuff they're trying to, you know, add to it. But just because of the raw materials alone and pretty much the need for it and everything, it's going to go up anyway. I had looked at an article. I talked about it one time before that, you know, they already predicted in the future ammo cost is going to go up anyway because of raw materials. And, you know, you have countries such as Europe, Africa, um, you have um, South America, Mexico and stuff. I'm talking about these are huge producers when it, you got Canada. These are huge producers when it comes to raw material. China pretty much been buying up raw material from us and buying up land here and getting raw material. They all they pretty much been the leader when it comes to raw material. The, the things that makes the bullet, people, the material that you need for the ammo, a lot of countries are, are pretty much have been building up on that. And you got countries now are moving into the country, building huge warehouses and stuff like that. I think it was um, Fiocchi. I think they're building a warehouse here in the country and everything. But guess what? You know, they setting up here, building here and everything, but they can still export their materials to make it here. Uh, to my, so abroad, you have other countries who get an advantage in this country. And that's why the price is going to go up, because with demand that we have in this country here, we have more people, more gun owners in this country than many other countries. And we're using more ammunition than many other countries. We're, so do you see the effect of that? So we're, I mean, we're going to be pretty much consuming more of the raw materials. And you have a lot of these countries and stuff that's against us in certain ways. We have to buy it from them and they're not going to sell it to us cheap. They're going to make us pay for it. So when you add all the laws and stuff, when it comes to ammo, you add all the, the ammo tax and all the, you add everything that's going on, the regulation and stuff in this country, ammo is going to go up. So that's why it is best for you to prepare and buy your ammo now. 
and the people who are buying all this ammo know what lies ahead because like i said before when it comes to ammo people you gotta have this long-term strategy for everything that you do so this is dc channel guns and i'll catch you on the next one this is dc channel guns like and subscribe thank you for watching